time. It's all been cut. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a vibe. Usually we wouldn't be able to, to you know, try some beer, um, you know, because we can't do takeout beer in this country. But we got the best next up thing. Bar Volo, cast days, trying some cast beer. It's really dark out because we just finished in here. But we got some really fun clips. I was trying some beer featuring Shaky Ted, not just on the camera, but behind the camera as well. Fucking go. I'm falling out. Wait, We're right, walking. Okay, we gotta go We're not way, done. We gotta go, We're we gotta going go this way. way. Uh, uh. Cast days. First time it's been around in uh, since twenty since the pandemic. And what are you having? I already forgot the name. Uh, chai something, some kind of tea thing. Like a chai time. Is that what it is? That would make more sense. There's a Woodhouse though, right? Vanilla stout is what I It's a vanilla chai, I think. Yeah. All right. Nowhere near as dark or as syrupy as I'm used to, which is kind of nice. I feel like I'll get less acid reflux out of it. Uh, yeah, it's very I mean, light. You know, it comes through real strong. Yeah. Which I guess if that's your thing, is your thing. It's still good. Though. It's got a good color on it, at least. So you know. It sure did. I guess there's no way you're getting the light with this. Right? No, 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 I'm getting lights. No, no, I got it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually decent lighting where we are right now because we got reflection from the sunlight. Yeah, this is a lot smoother than other stouts. I, I like stouts that feel heavy, so it puts me off a tad, but I enjoy it. Good shit. All right, give it a number score. A number score? For the boys. Uh, uh, seven and a half. It's not my favorite. Seven five, stout. okay. Yeah. Seven five for uh, Woodhouse Chai Time. All right. Good start so far? Yep. Or Embarrassing start. Worst, worst first video. It's okay. Cut to something funny. Cut to a skeleton dancing. <laughs> I'll find a gift for that yeah. somewhere. Uh, so next up we've got uh, a Bar Volo collab with two loons. It's called a Batsia, I believe. A Ratsia, I don't know. Uh, it's a beer de garde, which is like a really interesting like fall table beer uh, style. Not a lot of breweries in Toronto do this style actually, which is kind of fun. Uh, Ted, uh, Ted, I don't think you've had any of these, have you? I've never even smelled a beer that smells like this. No. But you do like Flanders Red Ales, don't you? You like the Rodenbach, and you like your um, Duchess of Burgundy. That's uh, uh, Burgoyne, I think. Sorry. Maybe? Duchesse, Duchesse de Burgoyne. Sorry, I, I have to be pretentious once in a while. <laughs> Nose is really fun though. Uh, very like very like nice like malt yeasts. Yeah, like see this is the fun time. It's like even though it's like this is a channel for reviewing takeout, but it's technically takeout here because we're outside. You can see all the buildings around and stuff. You got all this stuff going on, and yeah, this is the closest thing. You know that. Let's let's see the vibes. Oh yeah, the vibes. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit more mellow than I remember from standard beer to guard, but like very spritzy, very like yeasty, affirmative. All right, uh, you, all right, Ted, you're having a sip now too from that. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, I don't know how to describe it either. This is an unusual style of beer to me. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to rate. I think it's fun. It's very easy going. It's definitely very like, um, very bready. Yeah. Like, this is like I, I don't see myself drinking more than two in a night. No, this is a it's a pretty like this is something that I want to have with like a really nice like sheep's cheese. Like I need a cheap like a like a whole spread of cheese for this. Um, but it's pretty there, good. There you go, charcuterie uh, beer, perhaps. All right. Squirt. Yeah. I, oh, that's yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a good note this year. They should make this a thing. Like for a good like a good like fall Christmas beer, this is a really good fall Christmas beer. Yeah. yeah. If it was a little bit colder, because this is a pretty warm day for October in Toronto. I guess it'd be really great. Uh, score, I'm gonna say 8 1. Right on. 8 1. Uh, you know, Abrazia uh, from uh, Bar Volo. Bar. Cheers. Yeah. All right, review number three. It's so uh, what is it? Famala Firkin Badlands. Uh, hard as hell to try this beer. Yes, you are. Sorry, what am I reviewing? Oh, this is uh, it's called beer. like. I guess it was called like, like, Flambe a la Firkin IPA from Badlands. It's got the, I guess, obvious, hazy taste of a double IPA. Actually, I can't say that this stands out. It's nice, but is it different from any other deep one you're going to have? Yeah. I think it's just a normal IPA, isn't it? Pardon? I think it's just a hazy IPA. Oh, it's a hazy IPA? Okay, whatever. 
Yeah, uh, I think it's all I drink. It's still, silly for me to miss that up. But, that's certainly hazy. It is very hazy. The citrus is strong, I think. But not not too stand out. I mean, I drink this. I drink this any time. I enjoy it. It's just not particularly unique. Yeah. So, I think overall, like, it's still an 8. I just yeah. love the style of beer. 8.0? Uh, they, they definitely landed it. It just doesn't stand out. Big deal, you know? All right. Not everything has to be like a mango, habanero, double IPA, or oh, yeah. IPA, or whatever. So 8.0 is your score? 8.0. 8.0. All right. 8.0 for Badlands. Not too bad. Eh. Solid score. A little hard to get that beer, but, uh, you know... At the very least, you won't be too disappointed. Like, it's a pretty good beer, I mean, but... it's good. There's no disappointment. It's just... Why is that? I don't, I don't know. All right, at Cast Days. Um, Rouge River, ex Cap, two of my favorite breweries in Ontario. Maybe even the world. Uh, this American barley wine, it's called... Uh, yeah, old you. Santeria. Sounds a lot like um, some Metallica shit there. But it's uh, American barley wine. Santeria with, uh, is a fucking... What's that, ska band? Mm. Yeah. No, that's, uh, yeah, Interpol. Or no, not Interpol, sorry. It is uh, not Interpol. One, I should know this. That's My aunt knows the drummer from that band. Stoner band. Go on. Yeah, but yeah, so it's um, American barley wine with like apples, maple syrup, and some other shit. It's like actually kind of light for Long Island. I think it's like in the 8, 9% range. It smells really interesting. It's like, like fall. Yeah, look at that. Like good. Look at that smell. Uh, yeah. Let me give yeah. you a smell of that, Ted. Sure. Let me give you a smell of that. Oh, oh wow. Okay. It's like super musty. Like really Raven's here too. He's like, yeah, Raven's here too. Yeah, my boy Ray Ray. Right now on YouTube, is that what's my boy all, yeah. Ray Ray. It's cast days. That's a vibe. We're trying some barley wine. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see how this is. This sounds like a really good. All right, I'm holding this upside down still. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? That's gonna just reverse on itself, you dumbass. Oh my god. All right, let's try this beer before I. <laughs> Shaky Ted lives up to his title. All right. Shaky Ted. Oh. That's a damn good barley wine. Oh my god. It's a little bitter on the back. Oh. oh. Give me uh, some. Eh. No, I can't. It's not, I'm not allowed to. Just what? Get, just get the tickets. No, I don't do want to stand after. in line. Yeah, you can have some of my tickets. I have plenty of tickets. All right. <laughs> Finish the review. Like, it's like apple crumble. It's a little bitter. Like, we'll go second, second taste. Yeah, I think the maple syrup is like very sappy maple syrup. It kind of adds this like savory note in the back end. Kind of muddles it a little bit. So, like, especially compared to like, especially the old Mill Street barley wine. Like those I found, like not like because they don't really do it as much anymore. Like the old school ones in can, I thought were like phenomenally good. This is pretty close, not quite the same, but like if you want to try like a really weird barley wine from two of the best breweries in Ontario, like it definitely shows the pedigree and like how weird they'll get. I can't go into the nines though because I would call this a nine out of ten beer. It's not that high. I guess I'd go. 8-8, eight, eight, double 8, eight, eight. double 8 balls. That's the best one tonight, so yeah. far. Best one tonight well, now so I have to go get some. I hope so, so. it cost me two tickets instead of one. So oh, yeah. no. <laughs> it better be. So this is premium. This is a premium, yeah. All right, so, one, one last sip. Let's yeah, see it. Raven, get out of the show. All right, last beer of the night. That's a vibe. We're going to go for Godspeed Brewery, one of my favorites in the East End. Yeah, just zoom in on that face there. Oh, I see you there. I see you. Uh, <laughs> Godspeed Pseudo, English uh, English style uh, special bitter, one of my favorite beers. I'm actually going to Edinburgh and Ireland next week, so this is a nice little kind of prelude to be like, can I find a better bitter in England? Probably not, because Godspeed's really good. They love their Czech style beers. Let's try this out. That's a vibe. That's a bitter vibe. Also, this is very much not a proper beer tasting to get like good analysis. But that's what we do. Yes, here. it is. We're professionals. We All right. I don't know, but I'm certainly a professional in, in an extent. I also do not respect. I oh, sorry, not respect. Sorry, I do not represent the views of my employers. By the way, because I do work in the alcohol industry. I don't work in the takeout industry, so I can say whatever the fuck I want. But I can't talk about some people, especially since they sell for sell into where I work. So that's what it is. I'll probably have to edit this out part of it, but we'll see. I'm probably gonna keep it a little bit. But yeah, finish your review. 
How dare you? Uh, no, but honestly, pretty good, nice, crisp. Uh, you can kind of see like good oh, use man, of need... that amber ale, of that, of that like kind of bitter, totally darker roastier malt. There you go. I, I'm really trying to do what I can. It is so much redder, may I? Yeah, absolutely. No, even then, yeah, it's like a very that. amber crimson. No, you can sort of see it. You can sort of see it. Barely, barely. Well, it's way lighter than it looks on camera right now. I was just in Niagara wine country lately. So much good wine coming out of Ontario. Like, insanely good. Especially those, like, really nice, rich, perfumed reds and, like, some really great Chardonnay. But even then, the beer coming out of Ontario, too, is world class. And this is one of them for sure. Like, great bitter, you know, great, great body. Um, kind of reminds me a bit of Henderson's Best. It also reminds me a lot of Samuel Smith's, which is like really good brewery as well. If you ever tried their um, apricot ale, I have a buddy who's a huge wine guy who loves that shit. Uh, I hope they bring it back to Ontario someday. But yeah, that's so consistent. 8.5. 8.5. That's an 8.5. That's an 8.5 every day. That's a vibe. Here at Bar Volo, that's the last review of the night. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Ray Ray, for coming down. Ray Ray. Cheers, guys. Let's have a great fucking holiday season. Let's go.